have to look into uh, installing uh, a database in, or a private instance in a private subnet and using a NAT gateway get that instance some patches from the internet. Now as we had the setup done in our previous uh, uh, demo, we had a web server running in a, in a public subnet, subnet A. Uh, in this one, in this particular demo, we are going to create a bastion host uh, and we are going to cheat a little bit because it's um, it's just a demo. We are going to create the bastion host in the same subnet as the web server. In a production case, real uh, environment, you would have bastion in its own public subnet so you can secure it better. Uh, but then we are going to have a bastion, then we are going to have a database running in a private subnet and we are going to showcase an ad gateway. So let me just jump to the OCI console. And until now, we have seen that we have just a subnet A in the in the VCN. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a route table and a security list for my private subnet. Now, when creating a subnet, you need to provide a route table and a security list. And you don't need one at the time of creation. You can always update later on. Uh, but it's sort of you know it's easy for me to do that because I'm creating a private subnet. So right here I'll I'll come and I'll provide the name as subnet B, and the cider block is 10.0.2.0/24, as is on the slide. And right here I can choose my private route table, and I would choose private subnet because that's basically what I'm I'm planning to uh, I'm planning to 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 I'm uh, place for my uh, database instance so a private subnet is fine and then below here I would choose a private security list and there there you go I'll, I'll I just created my subnet B a private subnet to host my database instance now I would go into the compute console and I would create a database instance here so I would call this as my DB or database Oracle Linux is fine, AD1 is fine, virtual machine is okay. Right here, you can see that this is the subnet I just created. It's a private subnet and it chose that private subnet. I don't need a public IP because I'm going to install a database here. So I really don't need a public IP. So it's saying do not assign public IP. That's great. All these options I'm not going to touch. I need an SSH keys here. Uh, I think I have it here in my, let me just copy. key copy it and and right below I I would I don't need any of the advanced options I I click create instance now my database is getting provision in few uh, seconds you would see that it just has a private IP address doesn't have a public IP as we designed now as that is happening let me go to my network and do a couple of things so that I can um, I can SSH into the private uh, instance uh, and show the NAT gateway in action. So first thing I'm going to do is I created a security list here. You guys would recall that I need to open certain ports uh, in order for traffic to come to that particular subnet, right? So in this case, because I'm connecting, I'm co if you look at the slides, I'm connecting to this private subnet through the bastion host. At least I need to open this linkage from this particular uh, side here. Otherwise I would not be able to connect from Bastion to the to the instance database instance running here. So because we are using this CIDR block, I really don't have a 10.0.3.0/24 uh, as is on the slide here. I'm both Bastion and Web are running in the same subnet. So I would open it here. I could just say TCP port 22 if I'm just doing you know. Uh, SSH but I would say open for all protocols so at least uh, I could uh, you know do things like ping etc right um, I would also do um, egress open for everything that's fine so I'm basically allowing all the traffic out here so I just changed my security list here and if I go back to the compute instance hopefully my database is up and running right now so if I click on database I can see that it has a private IP address and it doesn't have a public IP as we had uh, discussed, right? We don't want 
um, because it's running in a private subnet so we don't really want uh, the, the public IP address here so right here you can see that I'm using SSH proxy command to, to go from my bastion host so this bastion host public IP is here 139.2.213.120.162 to my database instance and right here I'm using a private IP 10.0.2.2 right and I click yes and now you would see that I'm right inside my database right so if I want to show you guys pinging Google it doesn't let me do that right because it's in a private subnet the packets have no way to go to the internet uh, even though my security list I opened, I said, you know, all the packets allowed. Uh, it doesn't allow pinging uh, because it, there is no there is no path for the packets. It's black holing the path. The packets cannot go out, right? So this is where the NAT gateway comes in. So let me just go back to my VCN. And first things first, I need to create a NAT gateway. So I click NAT gateway here and I would give it a name. NAT gateway and create one. It's as simple, right? Now you would see that the NAT gateway is created, it gets a public IP address, right? So how do I associate this NAT gateway to the subnet? That association is done in the in the route table, which we are using for the subnet, right? So if I click on private route table, remember this one is the one which is used by the, the, the private subnet. So if I, uh, subnet B, so if I click on that, I need to add a route rule. So first thing, it asks here is what is my destination my destination is a NAT gateway what kind of traffic do I want to send to NAT gateway I want to send traffic distant for all IP addresses right so I do that and then right here my destination is NAT gateway and I add this this rule and as soon as I do that you would start seeing that now I'm able to ping Google here right I can I can ping because my NAT gateway is is working so literally what is happening is we have this instance here through bastion host I'm connected here but then this path is the one I just created and through this the traffic is is flowing out so hopefully this gives you a good uh, understanding of how NAT gateway works uh, and uh, how you could use it uh, in this case I'm just pinging Google but you could use it to uh, install a database um, let's say like a MySQL or get patches uh, from from the internet thank you so much for watching this demo in the next module if you have some time please join uh, the next uh, lecture where we talk about uh, peering and transit routing thank you